गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इट इज एन इनिशिएशन ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉलेज एंड टेक्निकल एजुकेशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई विल डिस्कस द ऑटोमोबाइल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स दैट इज यूनिट टू फ्रॉम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग is fifth semester subject of diploma electronics and communication branch dear students before we move to the content of this session let's have a recap of the previous session in last session we have discussed about electronic ignition lock system dear students we know that ignition system is used to start the engine when a driver starts a car then the amount of fuel or i can say the combination or the mixture of air and fuel enter into the combustion chamber and that fuel get burn due to that the movement of piston takes place and that resulting into the movement of vehicle now that can be controlled by electronic ignition system introduction of electronic ignition system in automobile has phenomenally increased its performance in terms of good mileage efficiency and reliability the introduction of electronic ignition lock system has added the advantage in the automobile vehicle electronic ignition lock system provides the security to the ignition system assume that a driver who has consumed the alcohol he may not able to drive the vehicle under such circumstances the vehicle has to check whether the driver is in good condition or not in order to check his status the vehicle display some random numbers on the display which is present in the car then the driver has to enter that random numbers or the sequence in this way he has to enter more than one sequence upon entering or upon successful entering those sequences the ignition turns on But dear students we also learned that electronic ignition lock system has very important component namely comparator and sequence detector sequence detector were used to detect the sequences whenever a driver enters different sequences then the sequence detector detect that sequence and generates the signal namely p1 p2 and p3 we know that the sequence detector is a circuit which is made up of a digital electronic circuit i or i can say logic circuits which is built using mire and mure model similarly the electronic ignition lock system has the comparator comparator is also an a digital logic circuit which is used to compare the output of sequence generator as well as counter the electronic ignition lock system also has the very important component that is counter the counter which counts the every sequence upon successful completion of all the sequences the comparator enables the ignition we have also learned that in electronic ignition lock system we had two error signals that is e1 and e2 signal upon generation of either of the signal either e1 or e2 the ignition gets disabled this is all about previous session dear students now we will see the next session the next session 
or the content of this session is anti lock break system this is one of the trending technologies which is available in present or latest vehicle dear students let me remind you that the introduction of electronic technology in vehicle or automobiles has improved its performance efficiency reliably and reliability let's see before going into anti lock braking system now we have to understand what is braking system we'll try to understand what is braking system dear students before going into abs that is anti lock brake system we have to understand how the conventional or mechanical brake system works dear students this is the structure of braking system here we can see that we have usually we have wheel which has different nuts over it along that wheel these nuts are internally connected to this drum this is called drum of a wheel or i can say it is inside the disc of the wheel this is called brake drum it is made up of metal alloys dear students inside the brake drums we have these following components this brake drum internally has the shoe hold down springs and shoe returning springs this shoe also has the lining material it looks like wood this lining material is look like wood and this lining material is mounted on the shoe and these shoes are interconnected with returning springs and this entire structure is fixed inside this drum to close this or to connect this to internal part or to axle this upper cap is used it consists of hold down pin which is used to connect with the hold springs we also has hydraulic slave cylinders and bleed nipple dear students this is all about the brake system now we will try to understand how the braking system works dear students dear students now we will learn how to or how the braking system works in the first figure here we can see that this is the side view of the drum and this is a part of wheel here we can see that when a driver who is driving the car when he applies the brake dear students now we will see how the conventional braking system works here in the figure we can see that this is the side view of the wheel when a driver who is driving a car applies the brake with the help of brake pedal then the fluid flows from this pipe and it enters into the the caliper the caliper applies the brake with the help of brake pads or with the help of lining material brake pads here we can see that when we apply assume that this instant we are applying the brake and that instantly stops the car with the help of this caliper this is the side view similarly the front view of the wheel is shown in this figure here we can see that these are all the shoes or the brake pads are applied to stop the 
this vehicle movement or the rotation of this wheel it is usually connected in opposite direction of the movement of the wheel here we can see that when a driver applies the brake then it gives the signal with the help of cable and it gives instruction to the brake pad and the caliper and that holds the brake drum. <coughs> Dear students, this is about side view and this is about the front view. Now we will see the inside structure of the brake system. Once we understand this brake system, then we will definitely understand the ABS system also. Here we can see that as we studied in the previous slide, we had the brake pads and this is the drum. The upper portion which is shown in this figure is the drum where the inside one is the brake pads. And these are all the returning springs. Here we can see that the blue color one are the returning springs. When we apply the brake, this spring stretches and this pads move towards the drum. On the top we have drum and inside and beneath that we have pads. The drum and pad together stop the movement of wheel. And this happens instantly whenever the drivers press the brake pedal then itself it stops the movement of the wheel. This is all about basics of brake system. Now coming to the, the core topic of today's session is anti-lock brake system. It is also known as ABS. We will have some animation here. In this figure, we can see that a driver or a car has braking system that is without ABS. That is without ABS. This is the braking point. This is the braking point. At this point, driver is going to apply the brake. Before that, this is icy road or I can say the road is full of water and this is the wet road. In this condition, the car without ABS where the brake is applied in this point that is braking point will not stop instantly and it will go in the undefined direction which is shown in this figure. It, it is going like sinusoidal wave that is like skidding like anything and at the end it may encounter some road accident. This is the result of normal or conventional braking system. Dear students, this disadvantage can be overcome with the help of introduction of anti-lock braking system. Yes, dear students, the introduction of electronic technology in automobile vehicle has brought revolutionary changes. Here in this figure we can see that the vehicle which is having anti-lock braking system when the driver applies the brake at this braking point then since it has ABS that is anti-lock brake system it will not lose its direction whereas it is going to stop at this point with the slow movement. This is the advantage of the ABS. In another figure here we can see that this is the ABS system and this is the braking point. Here at this braking point we are applying the brake this is the vehicle with ABS and this is the vehicle without ABS or I can say the conventional braking system is fit into the this vehicle. Now the ABS 
the the car which is having abs applies the brake here it's going to stop after some distance it will not it will not lose its direction it will not lose its momentum whereas the vehicle which does not having abs when we apply or when a driver applies the brake at this point then this vehicle will go into skid since in normal braking system the wheel gets locked it will not have its control over it and that stopping of moment of wheel result into skidding of this vehicle and that goes and crash somewhere this results into a road accident here in this figure we can see that abs is one of the safety measure here we can see that abs is one of the safety measure which helps the driver to deceleration of the vehicle that means when we implement the abs it helps the driver to reduce the speed of the vehicle that is also known as deceleration of vehicle during the poor braking condition or i can say when we drive a car on icy or wet roads the panic braking or sudden braking may result into the road accident how that happens in conventional braking system the wheels get locked or suddenly gets locked due to that the vehicle may skid sometime it may topple so due to that the driver may encounter the road accident in this figure we can see that the vehicle without abs uh, which is going on the wet road the application of sudden brake has made the vehicle to lose its direction as we discuss in the previous slide in normal braking system when we apply the brake the wheel get suddenly get locked and that makes uncontrollable and result in the skidding of vehicle now coming to the abs system the cars which is having the abs system can overcome this difficulty how that is possible it's very simple dear students in abs the simple logic is in abs that is anti lock brake system the name itself indicates that is anti lock that means the braking system will not get locked at that instant assume that right now i am going to apply the brake in my vehicle with abs system then the vehicle or the brake system suddenly will not lock the wheel what it will then what it will does dear students instead of sudden locking it pumps the braking system and this pumping or the turning on and off of the braking system happens in terms of fractions of second that makes the vehicle to control and it helps the driver not to lose the direction of the vehicle and it also help the car with abs stay on the course and stay on the road dear students now we will see how the abs system works the abs system that is anti lock brake system involves four major components number 1 is braking system number 2 is wheel speed sensor number 3 is ecu that is we also has the modulation valve and the hydraulic pressure let's see how anti lock braking system works the motto of anti lock braking system is not to stop the vehicle instantly instead of that it creates the pulse like signal and that goes to the brake system brake system will stop the vehicle 
very slowly. Let's see the role of different components. In the V, in this figure, you can see that wheel speed sensor. Wheel speed sensor, it is usually fit fits along with the wheel. Assume that we have the wheel. Inside that, we have some gear-like system which is having the tooth and these tooth are or the movement of these tooths are monitored with the help of wheel speed sensor. It monitors the rotation of the vehicle wheel and it gives the signal to the ECU that is electronic control unit. In ABS, this is the brain of the ABS system that is electronic control unit. It consists of microcomputer. It is having both software as well as hardware. Usually, the microcomputer may consist of the microprocessor. We know that the microprocessor having all desired peripherals such as RAM, ROM, arithmetic logic units, input and output ports and that microprocessor can be programmed according to our needs. Once we program that microprocessor and with the help of software that can be controlled that is under the ECU. This ECU, this ECU is used to convert to control the modulation walls. I can say the hydraulic walls are the part of this system. The modulation walls, the name itself indicates it gets modulated by the ECU. Usually the ECU generates the pulse like a signal and this duration is in terms of microsecond and that during this duration it generates the pressure with the help of hydraulics as well as the pump and that controls the flow of fluid into the brake application and that makes the brake application pumps and it will not allow the wheel to get locked. Here we can see that it is connected with the axle. In previous slide we have seen that ECU that is electronic control unit which consists of microcomputer. Microcomputer has both software as well as hardware component. As I said earlier, this is the brain of the computer or sorry, it is a brain of the anti-lock brake system. Now we'll try to understand how the anti-lock braking system works. Assume that a driver applies the sudden brake. Before that, we must assume the driver is driving a car on icy or wet road. If he applies the sudden brake or panic braking, then within a fraction of second, the wheel speed sensor senses the movement or the stoppage of wheel and that sends the angular velocity information to ECU. As we discussed earlier, ECU is electronic control unit. It is the brain of EBS, which gets the information from wheel sensor and produce the information in a such a way that it gives the signal to modulation walls. Modulation walls generate the signals like a pulse, which is having very less time or I can say the time width is in terms of microseconds and that pulse enables this hydraulic walls and that these hydraulic walls control the pressure of the flow and that makes the brake application to apply brake optimally and the vehicle will not stop at that instant it stop after some distance with full control on vehicle. Here we can see that the hydraulic walls also play a very important role. It is also known as actuators. Dear students, we know that there are 
two components mainly used in robotics as well as in automobile one is sensor one more is actuator usually sensor senses the information whereas the actuator creates the movement the hydraulic valves is also part of it we'll try to understand this abs with the help of this figure in this figure we can see that driver is applying the brake assume that a vehicle having abs system and driver is driving a car on wet or icy road or even in the normal road when he applies the brake that signal goes to the braking system and that stop the this wheel for fraction of second at the same time this is the wheel speed sensor which we have mentioned here this wheel speed sensor senses the stoppage of this wheel and immediately it sends the signal to ecu dear students this is the brain of abs which consists of microprocessors and software it gives the signal to the braking system and it sends the pulse like signal and instruct it not to stop the vehicle particular instant instead of that it sends on off signal so that the braking will happen on and off in fraction of second once the ecu sends the signal through braking system and again it goes back from this again it goes back and apply the brakes make on and off this braking system in terms of microsecond dear students in this way the anti lock braking system works now we will understand how the wheel sensor works here in this figure here we can see that this is the wheel sensor dear students these tooths or the gear is connected e with the wheel and the wheel sensor which is using electromagnetic technology i which senses the movement of these tooths these movement is captured by this wheel sensor and it sends information to the ecu that is electronic control unit in turn ecu controls the braking system and it applies the brake optimally dear students these are all the pictures of hydraulic control unit and electronic control unit which we have seen in the block diagrams dear students it's time to answer for multiple choice questions so far we have seen the different braking system especially we have seen abs system now it's time to answer the question the first question is the function of anti lock braking system is that dash please try to answer this question dear students the answer for this question is the function of anti lock braking system is the answer c this is the answer maintains the directional control during the braking by preventing the wheel from locking now we will see the next question you have one minute what is abs or abs stands for this is quite easy you must answer this question try to answer this question you have four option the option number 1 is anti lock brake system option b is anti skid braking system option c is acrolinear trying sterine anti lock anti lock brake system yes dear students the correct answer is anti lock braking system or anti lock brake system now we will see the next question that is question number 3 let's see the question number 
the next question is anti lock breaking system is that dash type of system try to answer this we have four options whether it is a driving system or safety system or ignition system or suspension system try to think over it and fill this blank with appropriate answer what would be the answer try to think over it whether it is driving system or safety system or ignition system or suspension system yes students you have last 20 seconds what may be the answer the answer is yeah you said it right that is safety system the safety system is type of system or i can say anti lock breaking system is type of safety system let's see the next question the question number 4 dash sensor is used to monitor the wheel performance we have four option that is bearing belt wheel or none of the above we have four option whether we use the bearing or belt or the wheel sensor to sense the or to monitor the wheel performance try to think over it you have last 20 second to answer your question the answer for this question is wheel sensor dear students the wheel sensor is used to monitor the wheel performance now we will see the next question dash is the brain of abs system the options are wheel sensor ecu or all of the above as i said you in the presentation brain which controls the entire operation of abs the whole and sole performance is dependent on the abs or the performance of abs is dependent on the the brain of computer and what is that brain of the brain of the abs pardon me the brain of abs not brain of the computer yes dear students you have last 20 seconds yes the answer is ecu that is electronic control unit electronic control unit is the brain of abs which is having the microcomputer and that is combination of hardware as well as software which is used to control the entire operation of abs next see the next question what is ecu stands for this is quite easy one try to answer this we have four option electronic control unit and large control unit electrical control unit and none of the above you have last 30 seconds think over it we have discussed this in previous slides since the ecu plays very pivotal role in abs you must remember its full form yes dear students the answer is electronic control unit the ecu stands for electronic control unit now we will move to the next question the question number 7 dash type of walls are used in the abs dash type of walls are used in the abs we have four options that is hydraulic walls pneumatic walls or we can use both a and b that is we can we use hydraulics as well as pneumatics or the none of the above neither of them we are going to use or we will not use any of them in this abs please try to think over it these students what are all the options and what may be the answer for this question
the answer for this question is the hydraulic walls in the abs system hydraulic walls type of walls are mainly used in the abs usually the hydraulic walls are used to control the braking system now next move to the next question the question number 8 that is dash walls that are actuated by ecu to ensure each wheel is optimally braked so what may be the answer we have four options here hydraulic walls pneumatic walls both a and b i am none of the above as we discussed in the previous slides its answer is hydraulic walls hydraulic walls are used to are actuated by ecu to ensure the each wheel is optimally braked now we will see the next question the question number 9 is dash is used to control the hydraulic walls dash is used to control the hydraulic walls or what component abs is going to use to control the hydraulic walls we have four options that is ecu electronic control unit wheel bearing or none of the above please think over it we have discussed this plenty amount of time the answer for this question is electronic control unit now we will see the next question the question number 10 what ecu consist of what ecu consist of that is electronic control unit what it consist of options are as follows microcomputer sensor actuator or all of the above since we have discuss about ecu ecu is a brain of computer that controls entire operation of abs that is anti lock braking system and that controls walls as well as other components in the abs please try to answer this question what may be the ecu consist of yes dear students the answer for this question is microcomputer ecu consist of microcomputer the computer we know that it performs all logical operation which is having both software as well as hardware part usually the hardware part comprises of the microprocessor and that microprocessor is controlled by the program which is burned or made by the manufacturer dear students this is all about multiple choice questions and these are all the references which i referred to create this powerpoint presentation dear students if you have any suggestions about content tool and format do feel free to send your suggestions and your valuable opinions to mention email id that is lms.dtek@gmail.com thank you